right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, and Kakudash. That's all praise to the Heavenly Father. His true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh. In his son's name, who the world in the call Jesus Christ, real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shah. Also give a praise, honor, and glory unto the Yahweh Kakudash, the Holy Spirit, which is the force and entity that makes this edification possible. I want to say Shalom to Aisha and Sir Harder Akim, or Akwa, that you brothers and sisters that make you buy the living sacrifice. On a daily basis in this wicked and adulterous generation. I also want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and who rule well. And uh, it's going to be a quick, you know, video this morning. Um, as you can see on the screen, this is off of RT News. It says, Iran won't abandon quest for uh, Soleimani vengeance, their commander. All right, because uh, if you remember uh, two years ago, yeah, when Trump was in office, um, he uh, he bombed their uh, that 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 commander, and see, it's been kind of on the hush, but Iran has not forgotten it, man. So all these nations are pretty much licking their chops at uh, um, destroying America. They're remembering America's uh, atrocities. See, America has been so used, you know, to just uh, getting away with things, you know, going throughout throughout the earth. You know, marking this territory, uh, uh, destroying uh, lives, destroying uh, uh, critical infrastructure that, uh, that these heathens have built up in their society. All right, America thought that they were going to continue to do that forever. But as scripture says, let's grab this real quick in the book of Obadiah. And then we'll get into that article. Obadiah 1 and verse, I'll start at verse 1. The vision or prophecy of Obadiah, thus said Yahweh, power concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from Yahweh, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us it's like it. Arise ye, and let us rise up against her in battle. And that's what all these other nations are, are planning to do. This is what they're in league to do right now. Even uh, America's own cohorts, the NATO and the EU, you have particularly them, they're going to break away pretty soon all right <clears throat> and in verse 2 he says behold i have made thee small among the heathen thou art greatly despised yeah everyone is despising esau edom everyone is despising especially america man because people have woken up well a lot of people even though these these people they're all still drunk but they understand to an extent now because this truth is gone out throughout the four corners of the earth they've kind of waking up to America's bullshit you know this democracy hell I believe it was um, the same country in Iran their uh, their particular uh, leader has said that America's democracy is worse than slavery man see so people are tired of this fucking wine that America's shoving down the whole world's throat man everything being out of order see these are the nations man they they got their households they got their their uh, countries in order you know, and rank. But see, only here in America, things are out of order. And America pushed that bullshit everywhere else. How else can you explain a damn uh, 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 flaming alphabet person or transformer person in China or, or, or Russia or, you know, any of these places? Iran, especially Iran, these Middle Eastern places, man. That's because America. America is the root, as it says in Revelation 17. Let's grab that real quick. Revelation chapter 17 and verse 5. It says, And upon her forehead, and this is speaking about uh, America in context, uh, Babylon the Great. It says, And upon her forehead was na a name written, Mystery Babylon the Great, the mother of harlots. And what is a mother known for? Giving birth. So this particular wicked empire that's going to be set up at the end before Yahweh Shah comes is known to be the, the mother or the producer of of, of, of wickedness it says the mother of harlots and abominations of the earth yeah america is the root of every issue here in the world man right but we see these other nations man the lord is stirring these other nations stirring up the minds of the leaders as it says in proverbs 21 right to uh to burn this to burn this place as it says in jeremiah 51 he's going to make this place a burnt mountain america's going to be a burnt mountain the mountain symbolizes the kingdom this whole place is going to be uh, 
burnt to smithereens, as the brothers love to say, man. <laughs> but it's true, right? And uh, this article just made me rejoice, man. Right? So going back to it, Iran won't abandon quest for Soleimani vengeance, commander. Says Qasem, Qasem Soleimani was killed in a U.S. drone strike two years ago. Right? And it says, uh, Iran will not give up on its cause to avenge Major General Qasem Soleimani. Yeah, and America knows that too. And you, oh look, one four four in that vehicle. Call all your mouth shot. And America knows that too, man. He and as it says in Jeremiah the fifty first chapter, it speaks about how the king, how the uh, how the heart of the king of Babylon is. Uh, let's just find that real quick, man. Is afraid. And this is why America is treading lightly now, man. See, Trump was put in the see. These diehard Republicans, they don't understand, man. All right, because they complaining about Biden. Of course, Biden's a damn devil. All right, but Trump was a damn devil, too. See, they put Trump in there to pretty much just stir up shit. See, and Biden, they going to put an illiterate uh, uh, illiterate leader after Trump. Well, Trump was illiterate as well. <laughs> God damn, bro. Like, <laughs> this place is finished. But they going to put uh, a leader that goes to sleep in every press conference that says Russia's gonna bomb Russia, right? To try to fix up Trump's doings, see? And then blame it on that incompetent leader, but really, it's the elites that's putting these, these retarded motherfuckers in there to do their bidding, which really is your how about your shop uh, making everybody do his bidding. Why? Because he's ready to give this whole world unto his children, the children of the province, which is starting with the elected nation of Israel, you so-called black and Hispanic Native Americans. All right, so let's find this in Jeremiah 51. Uh, and verse... Bear with me real, real quick. Bear with me real quick. Maybe in 50. Yep. Jeremiah 50 and 43. It says... The king of Babylon have heard the report of them. Heard the report of who? These particular nations that's uh, uh, that despises this place, man. All right, these particular nations that's in a uh, uh, conspiracy to to burn this place. The king of Babylon have heard the report of them, and who's reporting it? The watchmen. All right, particular brothers that Yahweh Shemal Shah put his spirit upon in these last days to warn the people, to warn our people. You know that a sword is coming. And these particular uh, individuals, these 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 higher ups, they listen, man. There's no doubt about that. Um, and as well, they they know they know their fate. The Lord has given them just like in ancient Egypt, how He was giving Pharaoh and you know uh, particular people in in Pharaoh's courts, you know particular dreams and visions at night of destruction of their kingdom. <laughs> you know the Lord is doing that right now. You get on YouTube and. You know, look at these particular dreams that these little Edomite uh, kids and Edomite women are having, and they just afraid. Speaking about how this place is gonna be burnt up, and a black man is coming, and a spaceship. Yeah. It says the king of Babylon have heard the report of them, and his hands wax feeble. Anguish took hold of him, and pangs as of a woman in travail. Yeah. So this place has the has the uh, vibration of a, of a woman, man. Right, it's, it's scary. It's, as Scripture says, the mighty men of Babylon have forborne to fight, cause these nations ain't playing with this place, man. See, America's playing games, you know, still eating chicken wings and shit, <laughs> which ain't nothing wrong with eating chicken wings, but their mind is in the wrong spot. See, the, you got damn transformers in the army. Right, this place is through. There's no backbone in this place, man. The American pride that Scripture speak about. In uh, Baruch the fourth chapter, how the rejoicing of the pride will be taken away. See, so you don't you don't hear that 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 diehard patriotic ring in your ears like you used to, because everybody lost hope in this place, man. See, that that's your how about Shemal Shah breaking this place down systematically, man, and we're we're alive to see it. That's why Sirach the twenty fifth chapter says. Uh, um, these things I rejoice in, you know, we're paraphrasing. He says, uh, uh, a man that liveth to see the fall of his enemy. So that we're in a blessed position position to see this. 
right? So it says, Iran will not give up on its calls to avenge Major, Major General Qasem Soleimani, a senior military commander killed by the U.S. in 2020, even if Washington off offers to lift its sanctions. So Iran has been getting sanctioned from America uh, uh, since then, right? And, and Iran ain't taking no type of deals. And that's and that's scriptures. It says uh, how... how um, how they're not going to um, regard neither silver or gold. You can't buy these people out, man. You can't You can't try to... Uh, uh, see, and that's what America's been used to. Buying these particular nations out. You know, uh, perverting the heart. Destroying the heart with a gift. As scripture says. Alright, but these nations, they're not accepting any type of uh, ransom. No, we want blood. Everybody's after the blood of the Edomites, man. And that's your Yahweh Shema Shah. He said in Ezekiel 35... Since thou hast not hated blood, blood shall even pursue thee. So just as these curses pursue us as the Israelites, blood is going to pursue your ass, Esau. There ain't nothing you could do about it. It was written just like it was written for us to be cursed. It's written for it's your time to drink of that cup, man. And these nations that you that you were in bed with, these nations that that you plundered, hey, they got they got military might now. Iran, they got. A, I did a video about it maybe like a year. Maybe two years ago And I ran I'm about to post that video back up again But this is an underground city In Iran It's an underground city And it's called Missile City man <laughs> And it's just stacked full of missiles All up under the ground man It's literally Thousands of them See Missile City America ain't ready for that See so it was It was strategic man That, uh, that Trump bombed Iran see so it says um, it says even if Washington offers to lift his sanctions all right they won't do it it says a top official with the Islamic Revolutionary Guards Corps has said it said uh, I mean y'all can read that but yeah they, they man they, they ready to uh, get they get they lick back let's get the scripture Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 1. It says, Woe to thee. And what does woe mean? Destruction. So destruction unto thee that spoilers. And who's been doing the spoiling? The one that has the birthright of the sword or the gift or the sword, <laughs> which is Esau Edom. Right? Woe to thee that spoilers and thou was not spoiled. Yeah, so whoever spoiled America. That's why scripture says that America is the, the virgin daughter of Babylon. A virgin has never been touched. America has not been touched. Right? Nobody spoiled this place. Nobody's done anything wrong to this place, man. This is the hammer of the earth. Right? He says, Woe to thee that spoilest, and thou was not spoiled. And dealt treach and dealt so like it, and dealt treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. See? These nations didn't deal treacherously with thee. But just one morning, right? Uh, Trump got a uh, command from one of the elites. Say, hey, I need you to send an uh, air drone strike to the commander in Iran. See? But what did those people do to you? Nothing. It says, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. When you shall cease to spoil, meaning you stop to spoil, you shall be spoiled. And when you shall make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. And as scripture says, man, you reap what you sow. Let's grab that in the NLT real quick. Isaiah 33 and 1 in the NLT. It says, What sorrow awaits you, Assyrians? And um, in America, it's spiritual Assyri uh, Assyria. Especially when you read, uh, was it Isaiah 10? Like the latter, the latter part of it. It speaks about the remnant that's going to rise up and how the Lord is pretty much going to uh, smite the Assyrian. Right? It says, what sorrow awaits you Assyrians who have destroyed others, but you have never been destroyed yourselves. Woo! You betray others, but you have never been betrayed. When you are done destroying, you will be destroyed. When you are done betraying, you will be betrayed. Yeah, that's right. See, and that's what's coming for America. These particular nations are tired of his BS. I'm going to get uh, a couple more scriptures to wrap it up. Get this in Psalms. 
55 and verse 20. It says, He has put forth his hands against such as be at peace with him. He had broken his covenant. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, America's put forth his hands, you know, hands of destruction upon these particular countries that's been at peace with them, man. Right? And broken every single treaty, every city, uh, every single uh, uh, peace contract or whatnot. And especially what he's done unto the tribes, man. We already know about that. Right, they came over here and just slaughtered Gad and Reuben and, uh, and the other Northern Kingdom tribes, man. You know, here Gad and Reuben is showing them how to uh, uh, agri uh, have agri uh, do agriculture, showing them how to bathe, showing them where the, uh, the good sections of the land is at, where the sweet corn is at, where the blood of the grape is at, right? How to grow it, and this and this this nigga slaughtered them, man. See, when our people have done nothing to this place. But build it up. So it's, it's your turn. It's your turn, Esau. All right, verse 21. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter. Yeah, his actual mouth and also his laws as well. It says, but war was in his heart. See? So even when this nigga is speaking smooth, speaking sweet, he's always meditating upon war. And that's what the devil does. It says, his words were softer than oil. Yet were they drawn swords. And when you go into that word drawn, it means engraved, which goes into writing. I'm going to show you that his laws and legislations are swords in and of itself, man. All right? So that's the three strike law, things of that nature. All right? Let's get another scripture in Proverbs. Three and thirty. Strive not with the man without cause. If he have done thee no harm Yeah that's right And these nations haven't done America any harm But it, it strove with these particular places So what is it going to do What's going to happen for America What's the fate This is uh, Proverbs 26 and 27 Whoso diggeth a pit Shall fall therein Yeah so America's been digging a pit for itself You know Been picking at all these other nations When they were down When they didn't have the technology Or the missiles Or the ICBM You know you know, just taking advantage of these nations. During that time where America was sweet, it was digging a pit for itself. It says, and he that rolleth a stone, it will return upon him. Now, I want to go to that word stone just real quick and we'll end it out. Uh, what verse was that? Going to that word stone in it. Hebrew is aban. And it's uh a weight, a plummet, stones of destruction. Also made of metal. Come on, man. See? So when scripture says, uh, uh whoso dig the pit and father in, and he that rolled a stone, that word stone goes into a what? Stone of destruction, also made of metal. What do you think that's talking about? <laughs> Come on, man. People say missiles ain't in the Bible. Come on, man. See? So, America's been digging this pit, and now that metal stone destruction, a.k.a. hypersonic missiles, is coming up on this place, man. And this, hey, that scripture says, they that dwell not treacherously with thee, but you dealt treacherously with them, they're going to eventually rob and plunder you, man. Now, back at the second, ch second chapter goes into all of this, man. You know, but that was pretty much the point. You know, Lord willing, you brothers and sisters will edify until next time. DTA Baba Ball, Kwame Shirala, Shalom.